What's up guys Darren here bringing you another video. But before I get more into the video I want everyone to comment below a game and I will let you know whether or not it works with Lucky Patcher. So in this video I will be doing a full Lucky Patcher tutorial showing what every feature does both for rooted and non-rooted devices. With that said, let's get this video started. So before you can download Lucky Patcher, you will need to go to your settings, scroll down to security, and ensure unknown sources is enabled. Once unknown sources is enabled, you can download Lucky Patcher from the link provided in the description. I am going to start off by showing the features you are able to use without root. So first, I am going to show you guys that my device is not rooted by going to root checker. As you can see, this device does not have root access. So I am going to show you the features you can do without root. The first feature I am going to show is the in-app purchases feature. I know this is the feature most of you guys will like because this is how you are able to make in-app purchases for free. So just select the game and select the menu of patches. Now you want to select create modified apk file. Then select apk rebuild for in-app and lvl emulation. Then rebuild the app. Now wait for it to finish. Now select go to file and choose uninstall and install. Then select yes. Then you can select ok. Now you can go ahead and install the game. 12 seconds later. Let us now open the game and make a few purchases. A few moments later. Twelve seconds later. As you can see, the in-app purchases feature worked without root. Now let us go back to Lucky Patcher and open menu of patches. And select create modified apk. Now these are the other features you can use without root. You are able to create the modified apk without license verification, without google ads, you can rebuild the APK for in-app and LVL emulation which I already showed. And you can rebuild the APK with changed permissions and activities. And you can rebuild the APK with multiple patches. This allows you to select all the options at once. Now I'm going to root my device and show you guys all the rooted features. Now that my device is rooted, let us get into the root features. So I'm going to start off with switches. So these are automated tasks you can set and the lucky patcher will execute these for you. So you can auto backup all updated or installed apps. You can auto backup apps updated or installed from the Google Play Store. Automatically integrate update to system for system apps. Automatically move updated and install apps to SD card. And automatically move updated and installed apps to internal memory. These options are self explanatory. So to switch on any of the options, just tap on it.
Next, we have Toolbox. So we have Batch Operations. This allows you to complete multiple actions all at the same time on different apps. I am going to select Backup APK selected apps. And as you can see, I am able to select all. And I would be able to backup all the apps at once. So that is what Batch Operations allow you to do. Then we have block ads. So you can turn off Google Ads services on your device. So there will be no Google Ads. You can block ads on your device altogether. You can unblock the ads and you can clear the local host file. Then you have remove all save the purchases. So if you have made any purchases using Lucky Patcher, you can remove all the purchases you made. Then we have directory binder. This allows you to bind directories located on external SD card to directories located on internal memory. Then we have patch to Android. If you're going to use the modded Google Play Store, then you will need to enable signature verification status. And if you want the modded Play Store to be installed as a user application, then you want to enable disable APK signature verification. Then the Disable Signature Verification in the Package Manager allows you to install re-signed apps on original apps. Next, we have Test the Modded Google Play Store and Install Modded Play Store. If you install this Modded Play Store, you will be able to install apps from the Google Play Store for free. Next, we have Odex All System Apps. As you can see, this will give more free space on internal storage. Then you can remove all Odex files, that is if you Odexed any files. Next, you can clear Dalvik Catch and Reboot. Then you can select a default install location. And the last option in the toolbox is to reboot your device. Next, we have Search. So you are able to search for any app or game. Then we have backups. This will show all the APK files you backed up. And the last, we have rebuild and install. So for all the apps you rebuild, you can find them here and install them. Now I'm going to show you guys the menu of patches. So the first option we have here is multi-patch. This allows you to do multiple patches all at once. Then we have custom patch. So these are patches that are made by different people. So as you can see in the first patch, you will get unlimited coins and the keys for everything. So I'm going to install this patch and show you guys. So tap on the patch, then select patch. Now select apply. Once this is complete, we should have unlimited coins and the keys. So now I'm going to launch the app. So as you can see, we have unlimited coins and unlimited keys. We also have all the upgrades. So that is the patch. Let us go back to Lucky Patcher. To download all the custom patches Lucky Patcher has, you need to select the overflow icon and select to download custom patches. Now let us go back to menu of patches. You can remove license verification. I am going to show you guys which area you would get if the app is not licensed. So this is the reason we would want to remove license verification. I am going to go back to Lucky Patcher and remove license verification from this app.
Select the app, then select menu of patches. Now select remove license verification. Select auto modes. Now you can leave auto mode checked. And select apply. Once this is complete, the license verification should be removed and you will be able to use the app. Now that it is complete, let us launch the app to check if license verification was removed. As you can see, the license verification error is removed and we are now able to use the app. Let us go back to Lucky Patcher. The next option we have here is remove Google Ads. This will remove all the Google Ads from the app. Then we have support patch for in-app and LVL emulation. This will allow you to make free in-app purchases. So just select it and select apply. Now wait for it to patch. Now that it is patched, I am going to launch it and make a few in-app purchases. As you can see, I am able to make in-app purchases for free. Let us go back to Lucky Patcher and open menu of patches. The next option is to change app components. Before you change any permissions, just ensure that you make a backup of your system first. Then we have create modified APK file, which I already showed you how to use if your device is not rooted. Next, we have remove ODEX with changes. This will restore your app and remove the support patch for in-app and LVL emulation. Next, we have tools. So you can clone an application. Select clone application. Then rebuild the app. Now select install clone. Then select yes. As you can see, app successfully installed. Now as you can see, we have two subway surfers on my device. Let us go back to tools. So we can remove selected save purchases. This will remove all the purchases you made in the app through Lucky Patcher. You can freeze the app so that you will not be able to use it. You can also move this app to your system so it will now be a system app. Next, you can make a backup of this app. You can ODEX the app. You can also remove the ODEX if you ODEX the app. And lastly, you can share the app. Now if we go to settings, we have some basic settings here, such as text size, orientation, sort order, filter, and a lot of other basic settings. So that is how to use all of Lucky Petra features on your Android device. So if you did enjoy this video, then remember to smash the thumbs up button. And if it is your first time here, then you do want to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.